In September 1964, only a few bore witness to the Beatles airplane making an unplanned stop at the Walnut Ridge Regional Airport. One of those people was airport employee Dorthern Johnson. Listen as he talks briefly about his experience seeing the legendary Fab Four for the first and only time in the natural state. In 1964, I was employed by the airport committee here at the airport. And uh, I uh, flew planes and stuff, you know, I was a kind of assistant uh, in it. And, uh, and on the weekends, I worked every other weekend. So it happened the weekend that was my week to work. I was, uh, had to, you know, the terminal open during the day. But at night, wasn't nothing coming in. So uh, I just went, I lived in two blocks of the terminal of the thing here. And uh, so uh, I uh, was up late that night and I went to bed. And uh, I heard a, a big plane circling woke me up. So I told my wife, I said, well, I gotta get up and go out and open up this office. And a big plane coming in. So he was still in there, and the Federal Aviation Office was across the street from me. And uh, I walked over there, and uh, the guy was on, on the radio that night. He was pulling the night shift, too. <laughs> and uh, he said, uh, you don't know who's on that plane, do you? I said, no, I don't. And uh, he said, uh, I just got contact with him said the Beatles are on there. Well, I thought, okay, you know. Back then, the Beatles wasn't all that popular, you know, really. Uh, they had been to New York, I think, to the Ed Sullivan show, and they was uh, going back through here. And uh, how come I'm stopping on the ridge was uh, the guy that owned the airline, or was had something to do with the airline, he, uh, Closed me on the ranch up at Alton, Missouri. So they, they landed here at Mont Ridge because they couldn't land some of these small airports. And so they landed, and I come out and opened up the office, and uh, they started getting off the plane. And I met them all, talked to them. Yeah, we had the, the building across the street that had the two bathrooms in it. So I walked with them across the street and opened up the, the building that had the had the bathrooms in it, and, you know, talked to them, walking across the street. And uh, <clears throat> so, uh, then, uh, I just, uh, kind of, uh, then, then there was uh, this van that came in from Missouri to pick them up. And there's one of them that wouldn't, and, and it was a small twin engine beach craft plane, I think it was a beach craft, twin engine, come flying in. And take part of them up, and they got on that plane. And, um, but the band picked up one or two of them and uh, drove back to Alton, Missouri that night. And uh, then uh, on uh, Sunday, the word had got out. But the night they come in, I guess I was the only one around. <laughs> Because they asked about security, you know, for the cut for the landings of the FAA. He said, "Well, the airport attendant and me is only one, just only one that's here, you know." So that took care of that. So they went, they landed, and made their connections, and went to Missouri. And uh, on uh, Sunday, that was on Friday night. On uh, September the 19th, I believe, around between 12 and 1 o'clock. So uh, then on the following Sunday, they came back here, and when they did, the place was covered up with people. <laughs> yeah, it was a sight to see. Oh,